I'm gonna get this. I'll figure this out. I recorded this entire video <laughs> using my MacBook laptop. I deleted it. I couldn't handle it. No one wants to listen to that. I realized I copy and pasted the wrong keys. Um, but regardless, it's working on a Netlify function. What in the world? <laughs> so that was just a clip of me getting next working on Netlify. Uh, and when I say next on Netlify, I'm like next JS, React, full stack JavaScript framework hosted on Netlify. And the benefit for Next.js is that it's it gives you a lot of what React sort of never gave you um, when it first came out. I've been in React.js for uh, most of my career at this point, and um, it was the first library, JavaScript library, I really truly understood how, to, how it worked. And uh, I did want to mention too as well, I learned all my Next.js from this, this site, this YouTube course, which is uh, masteringnextjs.com. Uh, definitely check it out. Lee Rob is a great person. He does a lot of really good content. He's a great YouTube channel to follow, so definitely follow his YouTube channel. Um, but his recommendation, even in the next, in the deployment section, uh, where it even says Netlify in it, uh, he mentions Netlify, but he doesn't actually tell you how to deploy it in Netlify. He, he basically just says static sites with Next.js, which is this video, is usually the, the reason you would use Netlify, uh, which is true. Netlify, it, it prefers having a build command in a static compile step to then host those assets. Uh, but with Vercel, you can actually just wholesale host it directly on Vercel and it does all the magic for you. So if you need static stuff, you need serverless functions, all the magic on Vercel works. So like I can, I, this, this video is like about Netlify, but I'm just gonna say Vercel does a lot of the work for you. So uh, Netlify is actually been putting a lot of content out on getting your, your Next.js site up and running, uh, which I'll get into and in how I did that real quick. But I just wanna talk about how I built this site. Um, this site being the swag.pizza.com. And I built it using this template here. So Stripe actually has a bunch of templates that are available to you. Uh, if you wanna integrate really quickly or just sort of get your feet wet and using Stripe instead of a modern JavaScript tool. Uh, so they have, um, yeah, they have quite a few tools, but what they do have that I use is Next.js. So not only is it Next.js, it also has TypeScript, which is also another technology I've never really used too heavily. I just want to get my, my feet wet using that. Uh, it also uses U Shopping Cart, which I mentioned earlier. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I added Tailwinds. Tailwinds was something that I added because uh, I just wanted to try it out for the first time. I'll do a whole video on Tailwinds in the future, uh, but for now, I'm gonna focus on getting next on Netlify. Um, I mentioned you shopping cart. Uh, and then it, also I wanted to mention that I, I did go ahead and clone that template to get started. And a lot of what you see in that template is what you see in my project, uh, minus the tailwinds that I add in and a bit of UI changes. Uh, big shout out to Thinkverse, who's gave me a couple of tailwinds. He gave me a bunch of tailwinds, PRs. Um, he seems to know tailwinds much more than I did. So he was able to help me with, with the gradients. Um, so shout out to him for helping with this gradient right here uh, and getting the, the, the latest Tailwind installed to be able to do that. So I said all that. Now I'm finally going to show you what I did to make this work. And the way I made this to work is Next on Netlify. Next on Netlify is a wrapper for Next.js. It takes what you would normally do on Vercel uh, and what Vercel gives you for free and brings that to Netlify using this tool. Um, there are a couple different things to do to make this work. Um, Trust me, it is not a lot, but what I wanna do before I move off this repo is I just wanna point out that there are Netlify employees who are contributing to this code base. So um, you do have their ear. If it doesn't work for you, if you hit an edge case of something you're trying to do, uh, definitely open an issue. This is open source, so check it out. Did I mention my project was open source? If you wanna to contribute to it, feel free. One open issue. All right, so this is all I did to make this work. And before I jump into this, I just want to jump into the structure of this code. And the reason why Next is so great uh, and for this this type of thing, um, when I was talking about the sort of server-side rendering and handling that code coming from my app and my data going to Stripe, as well as keeping it secure so people can just edit it like in the client side, uh, I'm doing that using Next, the pages. So each page uh, in, in Next, it actually has a built-in router where you don't actually have to think about the routing, it actually works by default for you. That's like one of the biggest wins um, for Next.js. But I do wanna point out that the API routes are the biggest things that kind of like, in the video I showed earlier where I was just so surprised and not how it was working and that, and not even sure how it worked, 
but just happy it did, uh, it's by this. So these server-side rendered routes in the API, this is the stuff that actually needs a server to run. And you can see I've got these JavaScript files that are passing around Stripe tokens and hitting post requests and passing data back and forth. This all needs a server to run. But with Next on Netlify, what it does is it compiles it down to a function. Um, and then those functions run on Netlify and keep your state managed for you using Lambda functions. Netlify, I didn't mention this, but Netlify actually has a service called Netlify functions. It's built on top of AWS. So these are functions for you to sort of do that state management and pass that data around without the need of a server. So that's the trick and that's what Next on Netlify is doing for you. If you look at my PR, the only thing, things I had to change, I did add some stuff to my Git ignore. Uh, Next on Netlify does recommend certain file structures on how you deploy your site. Um, so my build command, um, Next actually added a build command for static rendering output, but also they have a target for serverless. So if you look here, I actually have this target for serverless. Uh, this is what actually takes those API routes and makes them into functions. And then here I've got my Netlify Toml. Uh, this is also what I mentioned before, the file structure. So if I did want to run this locally, I can, and it's going to run it statically uh, using these, these folder structures to statically render the, that output. And then finally, there wasn't a lot of code that I actually had to write for this. So this, this is the magic of what this team is doing. I added the post build, which is next on Netlify, and I installed next on Netlify uh, inside of my package.json. So our I installed it inside of my node modules, really, but it lives inside my package.json. So that is it. This is what I did to make Next on Netlify work. Uh, I went through all that. I sort of explained the project, sort of why I created this project, and I was able to get this up and running. And now I have a Netlify site that's running Next that's using server-side render code, which I use that term server-side render code. I like the term serverless side rendering, um, but no one's really picking it up. So. I guess we'll just say server side rendering or land the functions or whatever. So if you were interested in this um, and getting next on Netlify, if this has solved your issues or your problems of trying to get this to work, uh, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what, what are you actually deploying on Next.js, um, whether it's on Netlify or Vercel. Uh, I just want to see ideas. Uh, so if you have a GitHub repo, share it below in the comments. Uh, if you don't, clone my template.